Hi, my name is Dr. Jonathan Kemp. I'm here at the University of St. Andrews and Kemp Strings. Today I'm going to be discussing training your trim to get your strat style guitar to return to good tuning after using the tremolo arm. I've got the trim set up here so that it's possible to bend the G string up more than a whole tone, which means you can vibrato either side of a whole tone when you bend. Um, so the uh, problem with tr strat style trims is that often your guitar might not go into tune after you do these types of big moves. I'll discuss uh, decked trims later in the video. For now I'm assuming that you've got the guitar in floating position. So first to demonstrate the problem, we'll play the guitar, do a full dive bomb like that, and release, and check the tuning now. Not too bad, but you can see the uh, G string is actually a bit sharp. Okay, so the D string and the B strings, uh, sorry, the D string and the G string slightly sharp. So what we'll do is um, we'll just tune up uh, the guitar and I'll show you how to train your trim um, next. So we do this tuning up process. guitar in. I'm going to now move the uh, tremolo arm up and release. And we do this process tuning, pull up the bar and repeat until it's stable. Okay, so that's in, now I'm going to move the bar, release, and see how it is now. Okay. So I'll just do uh, one last bend on the bar and check that that's in tune and stable. Okay, so that's all in tune after a full uh, bend up now. So I can play and uh, my guitar is going to stay in tune with conventional pitch bends. But also on the full bends of the bar. So that G's in. So everything good. Um, what if we do a full uh, dive bomb on the on the trim now? Um, we'll see the tuning is going to go off a bit. Again, that G string's well sharp. What we have to do to reset that is just to pull up on the arm. And once we've done that full pull up on the arm, it's reset the tuning of the G. So now the G is in tune. Okay, so that's the, the key, so we can now do wild stuff. As long as we finish by doing a bend up and down on the bar, we're going to be in tune. So, that's how you reset your, um, how you train your trim so you can reset the tuning by pulling up. So, um, yeah, what if you deck your trim? Some of you may like to do trim low arm bends downward only, um, just because that's whether you like it, or maybe you like um, to have your trim low decked so you can easily use uh, drop D tunings or other dropped tunings and swap back and forward quickly, or like compound bends to stay in tune. Um, and uh, 
Another reason is you might simply like the sound of the bridge when it's lying flat against the body. What's the reason why you might want to deck your trim? Um, so if you're doing that, uh, first you just uh, have to do the training method, but you train your trim using dive bombs repeatedly instead of training your trim using pull-ups. So uh, what we'll do is a, a dive bomb and tune up. So let's tune up after the dive bomb. So you see the slight tuning differences. Bring down the G string and the B string a little and the high E a little. It's in tune. Now I'm going to do another dive bomb. Okay, pretty close to being stable now. That's another full dive bomb. So that's now nice and stable. Um, when we've done that, we can do our dive bombs to the heart's content. And we're in tune afterwards. very slight um, error so you can get the um, the string now it can occasionally go out of tune when you do a, a bend up so there's the G's gone a bit flat because of me bending the string now to get around that problem that you do get when you're um, doing the training using the dive bomb method um, all you have to do is do a depression of the bar and release and your g-string should be back okay so that's it's not quite as stable um, as, as um, the training using pull-ups in my opinion um, but it does work as well and that's used uh, by many very uh, famous uh, guitarists like Jeff Beck uh, uses this type of method to, uh, when doing a conventional pitch bend um, he might do a little ghost dunt on the bar after the pitch bend uh, occasionally to just make sure the tuning goes back in so this is a, a known method this training um, by repeated tuning after the um, particular moves of the of the bar um, and uh, I personally, for my purposes, I prefer training using the pull-up uh, rather than training using the dive bomb uh, on the repeated tuning process. Okay, so... Um, you'll find if you do a pull-up on the bar using the... Um, training using dive bombs that your G-string may also be going slightly flat so you can do a depression of the bar to reset again. Okay, so now we're back into tune. Okay, very, very slight tuning problems, nothing major there on the process of uh, doing the uh, tuning and training using the repeated dive bombs. So now the guitar is ready to play. Um, uh, the guitar is... Um, going to be an instrument which has always got like slight tuning problems but um, with the strat style trim there is going to be this difference in how the string comes to rest depending on whether you just did um, something that decreases the tension of the string or did something that increases the tension of the string and you need to be aware of that when you're playing so um, yeah the training your trim using uh, pull-ups or training your trim using dive bombs that's the way to make sure you know how your guitar can return to tune um, after using your tremolo arm. Uh, sometimes it's uh, very useful as well uh, for returning your guitar to in tune after conventional pitch bends as well if you've got any problems with that on your Strat. So this video is applicable to all strings uh, you might use on your Strat, not just the ones I've developed, the Kemp strings. I'm using the Kemp strings here 
which are designed to give you the chords on the low E, A and D strings uh, and G string giving you the chord going in tune on the tremolo arm. So thank you for your attention. I am currently set up with a, uh, the requirement to do that to get that back into tune after my after my bend. So there we go. Thanks for your attention and uh, see you later.